Some Republican lawmakers this morning are telling NBC News they have concerns about Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell and his health, and that they personally have witnessed changes in the 81-year-old after he fell and sustained a concussion in March. Their comments come following Wednesday's incident when the Kentucky Republican froze for 19 seconds during a press conference before being escorted away from the cameras. None of the Republicans are calling on McConnell to step down yet, and senators next in line for the top job say they are not making succession plans at this time. But the murmurings underscore how the party is struggling to deal with the sensitive health issues of the longest serving Senate party leader in American history. NBC News also spoke with other Republican lawmakers who stand behind McConnell and say they have complete confidence in his ability to lead their conference. He said he's fine. I take him at face value. You heard him respond to questions yesterday. He was very crisp in his uh, in his answers. All I know is he's tough. He's been here a long time. He has a tremendous amount of support. Um, everyone knows that uh, w with one hand tied behind his back, he's still uh, a superior leader to uh, uh, so many people here that uh, I think people still have a lot of confidence in him. I think it's just maybe fatigue. There's been a lot going on. I mean, we're doing all kind of bills. My head was spinning, too, but trying to keep up with all the things that we try to get done in the next two or three months. McConnell has served in the United States Senate since 1985. He's not up for re-election until the 2026 midterm elections. And Jonathan Lemire, you've got some new reporting on how the White House is watching all of this. Obviously, President Biden, an old friend of Senator McConnell's from the Senate no, days. No question. The two men spoke uh, this week after McConnell's incident there, had a warm conversation, uh, I am told. But the White House is watching this warily. McConnell, for so long, has been such a villain for Democrats. But now, for this White House, he's become an important partner and a, and a bulwark, uh, if you will, holding back some of the more radical right-wing forces of lawmaker, Republican lawmakers on Capitol Hill, also willing to keep McCarthy in check and, more importantly, willing to keep Donald Trump in check. And the White House worried about what could come next. Uh, McConnell not expected to run for re-election. Uh, so there are, the White House is already preparing for what that could look like, a post-McConnell GOP, Michael Steele. But if McConnell's health forces him to step away before then, yeah. and his team is saying that's not going to be the case, right. uh, obviously that new future could come, could come even sooner. But talk to us about the dynamic there in the Senate. I think you and I both know that there are succession, oh, there plans, are succession being, plans being discussed. Oh, absolutely. Talk to us about what that could look like. Well, I, I think there, you know, there, there would be a battle for the leadership, particularly if the Senate becomes more in play for the 20, in the 2024 cycle, where it looks like Republicans can can take the majority again. Um, and I think that would be one way in which McConnell could very easily transition out. Either way, actually, um, so that battle for the num for who would then succeed him in the leadership is going to be. Um, I think it's going to be a lot more tense than people think it is. I mean, John Thune. Mm -hmm. would be my personal favorite, to be honest. I've known him a long time, and I think he's um, an incredible leader who has that ability to work with the the uh, president across the aisle, you know, and all of that. Should should Biden uh, return to office? Um, but there's always going to be that that sort of MAGA s kind of backflow, uh, which is sort of bubbled up in the Senate with the Tubervilles and others um, kind of making noise. So that's going to be an interesting storyline. What I find more interesting right now, particularly in the clips that were played, take out McConnell's name and stick in Biden. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, and 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 so we can we can dispense with all the oh, ageism stuff coming from Republicans about Joe Biden, because the reality of it is we are we are a country that's being led by octogenarians, older individuals um, and both parties, you know, are on the pike on this one. So dial it back. Be concerned about McConnell's health, as I'm sure people are concerned about Biden and they're concerned about Dianne Feinstein and others. Um, those narratives will play themselves out. But this whole idea that my guy who had this episode in front of national cameras is somehow better than your guy who tripped over a sandbag, it's just, you know, we need to, we just need to pull all that crazy aside and, and move beyond that at this point because their health obviously is important. But you can't you can't drive the politics necessarily that way. And if it's if it's that bad for McConnell or Biden or anyone else, then step out of it.